What's going on guys? I just took delivery of the new Aero Commando uh, dual sport helmet um, and I thought it was a perfect time to do the first product review on this channel. So um, stick around and see what I think. adventure helmets over the last few weeks been looking at the Arai Tor X4 uh, the clean Cryos um, but then I settled on the Aero Commander so I recently picked this up from Dirt Bike Express um, I think it's 270 pounds something like that um, but feel free to go on and check them out I also got the dark smoke visor with it um, which I think is great I just like to have that dark smoke if you if you're riding in the Sun so first up you open the box and uh, you've got your helmet um, you got another little box full of goodies and you've obviously got your pin lock system as well. Just having a little look in here, uh, a couple of things that you get. Um, you have your GoPro uh, adapters, you have the chin uh, windscreen guard um, and also some, um, some clips if you want to take the, take the visor off and you can cover up the, cover up the holes. So once you get it out of the box, this is how it comes in a nice little bag. We'll just take this out and have a little look. And first impressions, uh, I think it looks really good. I went for this cement color. Um, I'm not a big fan of, of crazy colors and having an orange and black bike, I just wanted something that was a little bit more subtle. Um, so yeah, so this is the Aero Commander in cement. So they claim that the Commander is basically a three-in-one helmet. You have your dual sport type helmet for your adventure riding. You can then totally remove the visor, um, which gives you that sort of motocross style look. And you could even uh, totally remove the peak, giving you that naked, um, naked inspired look. Comes in two different shell sizes. Extra small to medium has one shell size and the large through to double extra large has another shell size. This is a medium. Um, and what I like about that is it sits quite low on your head. It doesn't sit like a big melon um, when you're riding down the road. Diving into some of the, the sort of key features um, with the helmet, you have a high composite outer shell. Um, you then have an EPS lining and obviously the um, internal padding system on there as well. In terms of ventilation, the Aero Commander comes with a chin vent, um, which is easily adjustable. Um, just above the eye vent um, and then you've also got the exhaust system on the top of the helmet and what that does is it basically allows the cold air to come into the helmet and the hot air to be extracted at the back um, trying to keep your head nice and cool at all times out of the box the commander doesn't come with the small chin skirt however inside the box you have this bad boy now all that does is you just clip it on the inside of the on, on the inside of the helmet, and then you've got that wind stopper, wind skirt. On the visor as well, you've got these two um, or four venting points up here, which allow the uh, wind to run through. And you've then got this big gap here for all the wind to sort of be diverted through. So when you're riding along, you're not getting loads of drag from the peak. And I know that's something when I've been using my motocross helmet riding my adventure bike, it is a pain in the ass having your head pulled back all the time. One of the things that I think is great about the Commander is the action camera mount. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of having an action camera on the top of your helmet. I don't think it gives the best view, um, but I think it's great. Out of the box, they give you a few different options to have with the peak, without the peak. You literally just pop this out. You have the action camera um, adapter that goes in there, um, and then you get your GoPro on there or whatever it is that you're using and you've got that solid mount already planted on there. Personally, I think a better option for an action camera is on the chin. I think you get much nicer footage. It seems to be a little bit more stable and not quite as pointed down on the road so much as it is on top of the helmet. Um, but still a great option out of the box. About this helmet is the ultra wide visor. Now I've been using uh, my motocross helmet with goggles on my adventure bike for a little while and that really isn't the best thing in terms of peripheral vision. 
Now with this ultra wide visor, it really does help with the peripheral vision. Just when you're coming in and checking your head um, or pulling out from a, from a stop sign, having this super wide visor really does help um, in all those situations. Also in the visor, uh, let me just pop that up. You have the sun visor that pops down. It comes down with a bit of a clatter, but it's there and I think it's a great thing for any dual sport helmet to have. So the Commander is audio ready. So there is a small bit on the back of the helmet here. Now you can pop that out and it basically allows the wires to run from the inside of the helmet out and down the side without coming out and under the helmet. So if you've got your Senna or your Cardo on the side of the helmet, it's not going to have dangling wires coming out the side. You also have the uh, inserts on the inside of the lining. Um, they can pop out and then you put your, your headphones in there um, just to make it a little bit more comfortable, a bit more streamlined on your head. In terms of comfort, I'd give this four out of five stars. Um, I think, like I say, it is one of the most comfortable helmets I've had on my head, um, especially considering you're not in that sort of five, six hundred pound price bracket. You put it on and it is it just feels like a pillow on your head that's obviously going to protect you. Um, price, again, I think this is either four or five stars. Um, for the money, um, I, I don't know. I've not used a lot of other helmets in that price bracket. I've tended to have a bit of a higher price bracket helmet. Um, but price, I think, is bang on the money. It's, it's, it's good for, for what you get. In terms of safety spec, I would give this helmet uh, three out of five stars. Of course, there are helmets on the market. There are other safety features that can be implemented in helmets, like the MIP system or Flex system from Bell. But of course, you're going to pay the price. So the kind of the, the, the price goes into the, the safety aspect of it. In terms of versatility, I think this really is one of the most versatile helmets. The only person that I wouldn't see wearing one of these would be a, uh, a sports bike rider, something like that. The fact that you can take the visor completely off, you can take the peak completely off and you can have it as a bit of like a naked um, inspired helmet, I think is great. Um, so in terms of versatility, I'd give it four, four stars. The weight, it's not a carbon helmet, so it's not gonna be um, super light, um, but on the back, this is saying that this is uh, 1,430 grams, give or take 50 grams. Now, it's not a heavy helmet by any, any stretch, but it's not the lightest on the market. My old Bell Eliminator Carbon was incredibly light and it's one thing that I loved, um, but it doesn't feel heavy at all when you, when you pick it up. Overall, I have to say this is one of the best helmets I've ever had. I love it, I'm excited to, to take on some adventures um, and share um, share some videos and, and see what you guys think. So let me know below what you think, um, comment. Um, if you bought one yourself, let me know what you think of that. If there's another helmet that you think I should try, please let me know. Uh, make sure you subscribe and um, look forward to seeing you next time.